Hey y'all, um, today I'm going to make a real easy hamburger casserole dish. It only takes a few ingredients and nothing is real expensive in it. And it has a lot of uh, good taste. So anyway, I will take you down to the casserole dish, which is right there. And I hope that my phone does not fall. But anyway... I'm using, uh, I don't even know the size of this casserole dish, but it's like um, an oval 9 by 13 in a way. But I peeled and cut some potatoes, uh, diced them, and I went ahead and put those in the dish. It's about half of a um, dish of the potatoes. And into that... I'm going to put a can of sweet peas. Now you can use sweet peas, green beans, corn, uh, carrots, anything you want. Just keep your juice uh, in them. Don't drain them because your potatoes really need that to cook is that broth. And it gives it a little uh, bit of a nice sweet taste, I think, with the peas. So on top of that, I'm going to take, this is a little bit over a pound of hamburger meat that I just crumbled up and fried. And I'm going to put that over. And this dish you can really add to if you want, like you might want to um, saute some onion and put in it or um, put cheese which if I had cheese I would put it in it but I didn't have any and so once you get your hamburger spread out then I took a can of cream of mushroom soup and I added milk to it a can of milk and so you just pour this over it and I'll scrape and get the rest out of the cup and just spread that out over your meat. And then to this I'm just going to put some salt and pepper, and I always keep my salt and pepper in this little container. I have a shaker also, but I keep some in here when I need to sprinkle. And then the pepper. And that's all there is to it. Um, I'm going to take my lid and put on it and I'm going to stick it in the oven on um, 400 degrees for about 45 minutes you want it to go until your potatoes are soft so uh, check it uh, after 45 minutes in a preheated oven and they should definitely be done but anyway uh, just check them anyway just to make sure and we'll come back and give this a try. So I'll see you back shortly. Well, it's 45 minutes later and the casserole is ready. It looks real good, it smells good. And so I'll give you a look at it. And there you go. I'll go ahead and cut some. There's the tiny, tiniest bit of liquid in the bottom, but that's mixed with the um, cream of mushroom soup. So here is what it looks like. It 
and I'm going to go ahead and give it a taste. It looks pretty hot. So, I'll have to be careful. You can see the peas on it, the hamburger, <clears throat> and the potatoes. That it's really good. I would add some salt and pepper, more salt and pepper, but otherwise, it is really good. <clears throat> and just my suggestion, if you don't like peas uh, too much, then put corn or green beans or something. But our family likes peas, so this will um, work out real good. So anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you get a chance to try this recipe and enjoy it. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.